all uh, you can see the connecting to cloud server right hmm? can you see something on the screen like connecting to cloud server or something no uh, sir, no, that's sir. no sir oh that's fine then then no problem okay so so the course code is data mining and a uh, course title is data mining and the course code is stat 4204, right? So as it is, I am the course instructor, Dr. Mohamed Siddiqui Rahman, and I am, a, I am working as an assistant professor in the Department of Statistics, Begum Rukha University, Rangpur, Bangladesh. Please mute, please mute yourself, please. So, Parisul, please take a look. Mute all the participants except me, okay? So today, uh, I'm uh, the course outline. I'm I today. This lecture is mainly based on the course outline, or maybe you can say this is a course contents, right? So as you, you can see the data mining outline. So as I told you, what do you mean by data mining? So you already know about the meaning of data because you are dealing with data from the very beginning of your university life, right? So as a statistician, it's our job to work with data. But the thing is that nowadays there are a lot of data. That means you are drowning in data. You are drowning in data, but starving for knowledge, right? So a lot of data like the big data and the volume of the data is huge enough. So uh, what do you mean by mining? So mining is nothing just to extract, okay? So what you are you gonna do, you, you are extracting data from a database, from a, database so the question is what is database do you know anybody what is database tell me somebody like what is mean by database sir so database is is where we store data exactly so database is a collection of what collection of data Consider if you go one grocery shop, do you know Shopno? Shopno is a grocery shop in Rangpur, right? Recently launched in Dhap area or Lal Kutilmur, right? So in Shopno, whenever you used to buy something, right? Then they use a computer to store your data and automatically a receipt is being generated, right? So all the customers, so everybody, they have a lot of every day, they have a lot of customers. And what is the nature of the customers? And why the customers are going there to buy something, right? So every day they have lots of data. And at the end of the day, and or from the very starting of the day, they used to store the data. They used to store the data of the customer, like the name of the customer, maybe the mobile number, or what is the price of a particular product they already purchased from the from that grocery shop, shop no, right? So how this work is being done by that particular grocery shop? Do you know? And this has been easy due to a database software, due to a database software. So database is nothing but a collection of information. So what is data mining? Data mining is something to extract the hidden information from a large database, right? So my question is, right now you have a mobile phone with you, right? Yes, sir. Everybody have a mobile phone. So do you know the phone directory of your mobile phone? Phone directory. Suppose Warisul is going to call someone right now, okay? Suppose Warisul is going to call uh, Rani, a lady named Rani, okay? So what Warisul have to do? He has to look over the directory of the phone, right? 
then yeah. he will search the name like he will start to search by using like r a then the name will be appeared right so my question is looking up a phone directory is this task included as the data miner task my question is so i think you don't understand my question i am telling you the question looking in a phone directory or searching a name in from your phone directory do you think this kind of job is including as a data mining job or data mining task and answer me please yes so yes sir data mining yes, sir. this is kinda data mining but it's not really data mining right this is data mining but the data mining is a very difficult job like you should have a large database right and yes, you have sir. to use a particular software what is what i told you again please mute all this is your job to he also muted me <laughs> please take a look over over me also i give you the permission it doesn't mean you can mute me also anyway this is the first class so you have might have some mistake and mistake and mistake right at the end you will learn something anyway so i told you is this data mining the example i just uh, i just gave you this is not really data mining the data mining is like ext extracting the hidden information right and the information must be potentially useful potentially useful from a large database and you have to use a particular software database software right so i am looking up a phone directory this is a manual job this is a manual job and you are doing it by your hands right so this is not really the data mining but literally this is not data mining but you can say the uh, the job is similar the job is similar to data mining but not exactly this is data mining so consider another example suppose you are searching in the google right you are searching in the google so the keyword we search in the google search engine like b r u r b r u r so whenever you search something in the google something like b r u r what is going to be appeared in the website hmm can you hear me yes sir what is going to appear in the website or google if i if i write the uh, word like b r u r uh b r u r just tell me anyway it might come begum rok university rongpur right or yes, it might come uh, anything 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 like another information so what what is the reason exactly where you are comes do you know the hidden information because uh, in this job right some data mining mechanism is used like the association or maybe the clustering when you give some input in the google search engine right so they try to match the keyword okay there are many keyword like br ur br ur so they try to find out a particular word like the begum rokha university i think this is one of the job of data mining like uh, from a large database because in google there are many things with the words like br ur could be another things but if it is unique then it's very easy to find out so maybe br ur is unique that's why it is easy but if you write ju the google might give you jadavpur university or jahanginagar university right so how the mechanism wa was working there the mechanism is the uh, the mechanism was work based on the data mining application right so there are many things work there like the search engine query lot of queries right work there so this is the mechanism like based on the data mining application and tools right you can have your potential information from a large 
database. So the news from the center is like the conclusion is that data mining is nothing but the extraction of potential information from a large database. So if you consider the big data, big data, a lot of data like the bioinformatics data, genetics data, like a lot of genetical data you will have, like the sequential data, genetic sequence, a lot of sequence. So how you can find the particular sequence of that a large database of sequence is gonna be very difficult unless or until if you use a particular data mining tools or technique, right? So this is really called the data mining. Yeah. So this is a from the data should come from a large database, right? And the objective is to find the hidden and potentially useful information from a large database. This is really the data mining and who use the data mining job and the, the profession or the professional is called data miner like the statistician, like the econometrician, right? When somebody study or deals with econometrics, we can tell him or her econometrician, right? If somebody deals with statistics, we can tell him or her statistician, like the similar way who deals with data mining problems or tools or techniques, we can tell them data miner, right? So still now you are what? Till now, you are a data, you are a data miner. Okay. okay, very good, very good. So in this course, as I told you, this course, this class lecture today, especially, especially the contents, I'm not going to discuss in details of each topic, but today maybe I will try to give you a glimpse of the topics, right, or the contents of data mining. So this slide shows you the data mining outline. So in the part one, maybe we can discuss or we can learn introduction of data mining and the related concepts with data mining and data mining tools or techniques, right? Then in the part two, classification, clustering, association rules, right? So. If I classify data mining, there are mainly two kinds of data mining. Number one is called the descriptive data mining. So if you are a modeler, if I talking about the modeling, so data mining modeling can be of two types. One is descriptive, the number one is called predictive. Tell me, please, or repeat me, what, what are the different kinds of data mining? Descriptive. And? Predictive. And predictive. Pre predictive. Predict, predictive or predictive. predictive. Hmm? So, okay, tell me, tell me what is mean what by is descriptive, descriptive data mining? Do you have any idea? Hmm? You don't know? You don't know? Tell me, if you don't know, just say, 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 I wouldn't know. Do you know the descriptive statistics? Or you descriptive, know yes. Yes, what, is, what is mean by descriptive statistics? Sir, how are all the observations are used? Hmm? Uh, okay. So from my understanding, descriptive data mining is something to find some patterns, right? that are human interpretable so that you can interpret easily. These are called the descriptive. Descriptive is nothing just to describe the hidden pattern, okay, or insightful information you are gonna mine. You understand what I mean? To describe something or the pattern that are human interpretable. So the, a particular human can interpret it easily. What is the predictive? Predictive is a future scenario that is to find some value, right? Based on some values. This is a very easy thing to predict something, to estimate something, right? That means to find something based on something. This is a very easy thing, right? To find something based on something. Anyway, so in the if you take a look in part two, there are three data mining 
task or application or maybe techniques okay one number one is classification number two is clustering number three is association rule right could you please tell me these three things in which category they belongs i mean classification is descriptive data mining technique or predictive data mining technique descriptive descriptive are you sure if you are sure tell me the rational or reasoning try so to um, classification descriptive statistics classification also describe the patterns so that uh, um, uh, all the uh, above criteria are uh, adjust in the descriptive in what do you think uh, the classification is already classified classified yes. already classified are you sure classification is means you have to classify something that means you have to predict something i don't think this is categorized in the descriptive section rather it is categorized in the predictive modeling technique this is a predictive modeling technique classification that means you are gonna classify something this is like the future scenario and and for the classification as i told you the predictive predictive data mining is nothing just to find suppose you are finding some values right based on some other values the classification is something you want you are going to classify something based on some predefined classes maybe you understand consider one example suppose you went to a bank right you went to a bank and normally in a day lot of customers used to go for their service to a particular bank can you hear me yes sir the example was suppose the bank is going to take a decision suppose 100 um, uh, customers applied to take a credit card from dhaka bank limited but dhaka bank is gonna give only 20 credit cards because they have the limitation from the authority okay you cannot assign or you cannot approve more than 20 credit cards then could you please tell me how can the dhaka bank limited take their decision regarding this purpose do you have any idea no idea sir okay so what dhaka bank can do dhaka bank can classify two or three categories number one the first classification could be number one authorized credit card number two don't do not do not authorize credit card okay number three can authorize can authorize after further identification so how many classes are there three three so 100 customers will be classified based on these three predefined classification classes or classified classes you understand the important thing is predefined classes predefined classes so how many predefined classes are here right now three three what are those classification authorized non authorized and uh, authorized after Identification. Identification. Exactly. Identification. So what, how they can do it? They can do it like they can further investigate, right? They can further investigate the previous background of the customer, right? Maybe they can take a look. Now I am talking about other attributes. Attributes is similar to variables, right? Like uh, what is the job status of its customer, right? And what is the monthly salary? can they afford can they afford to pay the debt or or for the credit card you understand and what is the nature of the job okay so now based on some attribute what is the job of dhaka bank limited they want to classify remember this is not a past event right now they want to classify still now the classification is not done right so they want to classify based on some attributes okay okay 
So what was the condition or what was the criteria over there? The criteria was there were some predefined classes and the 100 customers is gonna be definitely classified in a particular class. You understand? So this is another predictive data mining modeling. That means the hidden information you are gonna find, you have to classify those customers in a particular class. This is a hidden information, okay? And the hidden information is like classify something. And this is a future job, right? Future job. So this is not descriptive. Their classification problem is related with predictive modeling techniques. So classification is categorized into predictive data mining technique or modeling. You understand or not? Yes, sir. If you don't understand, you can clarify more. So maybe we can discuss more or maybe we can discuss it later. I just I, This is a class, only the contents. Maybe we can discuss in brief in our next classes, but you should have a like basic idea from this class. So if you don't have the basic idea right now, you can tell me, sir, please repeat or discuss in different way. Could you please tell me what's your, what is your status now? Did you understand the concept? Yes, I'm sir. Talking. It's okay, okay. sir. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. So another but, one sir, is- I have a query, sir. Yeah, please, please. Sir, we have already known uh, in our first semester when you were uh, conducting our uh, class, uh, we have okay. get that the uh, descriptive statistics deals with in past data and yes. uh, inferential statistics uh, works in present data and future data, sir. Yes. So, so Yes. yes. That, yeah, yeah. You are you are right in some senses. You are right. Uh, your voice yes. is not clear. I understand your question. I understand your question. Please mute. The mining and predictive. Okay, I understand your question. Please, please, you can mute. So. The thing is that now you have some problem with the descriptive and inferential statistics, right? So I told you based on the past data, every data is past. Whenever you have some data at your hand, right? This is past or this is past, right? That, that was a like very basic, basic knowledge, but you have to concentrate on the job. What you want to do right now? What you want to do right now? Suppose you have the data at your hand, what is your job now? Do you want to describe only? Do you want to describe only? Suppose you got a data regarding your results, right? And tell me the result is past data or future data? The question setter, please tell me. Suppose I have a result of your uh, second year, third semester, uh, second year, first semester. Tell me this data is past data or future data? Past data. Of course, past data. Then I told you to calculate the mean, the average marks from all the students. And I got 3.5 is the average CGPA uh, like got from the students. Then tell me what is the meaning of 3.5? This is the average, right? Or this is the mean result. So do you think this mean is descriptive statistics or inferential statistics? Sir, it is descriptive statistics. Okay, no confusion. But if I ask you, try to find out the fourth year first semester result based on the second year first semester result. Is it possible? I think it's possible. You can just do a regression modeling. You can just do a regression modeling. Then you can find the uh, predicted result of fourth year second semester. How? Suppose why? y is equal to alpha plus beta x, right? So what is y here? y is nothing, the result of fourth year first semester, which is not published already, which is not published yet, right? Then alpha and beta, you are gonna get from the calculation, right? Then what is x? x is nothing but the result of second year first semester. Is it clear? Yes, sir. If you, if you yes, put sir. the value of x, 
if you put the value of x, that means second year first semester result, you gonna get definitely the result of second year, a fourth year first semester. So what is the job here? This is descriptive or predictive? So predictive. So predictive. I don't think there is a confusion here. So this is the explanation anyway. So another word is or topic is clustering. Clustering. Do you know what is clustering? As I said, like I already told yes, you sir. the classification. Could you please uh, give me an example of clustering problem? Okay, first tell me clustering. The clustering is organizing yeah, yeah. the data. Yes. Okay. Yes. Clustering is organizing the data in several packets based on criteria. Based on criteria. Anyway, classification and clustering are very, very similar. Okay, it's very difficult to distinguish classification and clustering. But the main difference, I think, in classification, you should have some predefined classes, which I already mentioned in my previous example, like in a banking example. What was the predefined classes? In my previous example, authorized, non-authorized non are in identification. Exactly. But in the clustering, I think this, this scenario is not common and this kind of assumption you don't need to imply. I think this is the this is the basic difference. Anyway, the guy already ans answered me is quite okay. So what do you think? Clustering is descriptive or predicting? Predictive. <laughs> the predictive. Predictive. Yeah. I am really sorry to tell you it's not predictive, it's descriptive. Anyway, this is the confusion. If you have a lot of confusion, then how we can remove the confusion? How? Tell me the answer. If you have a lot of confusion, life is all about confusion. If you have a lot of confusion, how can we remove confusion? Tell me. Hello. No idea, sir. No idea. You have to study. The answer is you have to study and you have to find the right answer. That then the confusion is going to be removed, right? So this is the solution. You can study more. Maybe in our upcoming classes, we can study more. We can give more lecture on the specific topic, okay? So tell me, what about the regression? Regression is a descriptive technique or predictive technique? So regression is a predictive, predictive technique. Exactly. Regression is a predictive, predictive. technique. Anyway, the last, last, uh, uh, problem is association problem association rules association uh, rules so what do you think as the name suggests this is descriptive modeling or predictive modeling if you don't know just tell me sir we don't know don't like spend a lot of time Yes. Association rules. Descriptive or predicting? Predictive, predictive. sir. <laughs> so I'm also really sorry. It's not predictive. Descriptive. Okay, descriptive. Okay, so I am gonna give you one example. Okay. Suppose Mr. Waresol is a shopkeeper. Okay. Mr. Waresol is a shopkeeper in Parkmoor, Rangpur or nearby Begum Roka University, Rangpur, okay? So he, has, he had a grocery store, grocery store. So what is it now in a confusion? Because from tomorrow, he is going to sell bread. Do you know the meaning of bread? It's a food, right? It's a kind of food, bread. Roti. Exactly, roti. So what is it is going to sell bread from the next day, okay? But one is always thinking what other products he can put in the grocery store, store beside bread, okay? So what do you think? What other products one can put in his store or shop? Do you have any idea? Jam and jelly. Exactly, how? Why you think like that? 
The answer is okay, good. The answer is correct. But how do you think about that particular products like jam and jelly? Why not the sir, other product? It's, yes? pa it's pertinent to bread, sir. That's why I put that. Okay, because there is an association. The customer used to go, used to buy for the bread. They also seeking the similar items that can be associated with the bread. That means when you are going to eat bread, either you can buy banana, right? Or jelly. I'm not sure about the typical Rangpurian people. Maybe they prefer banana, right? Or and that tea. Okay, tea maybe, okay. So you see, this is a problem. This is a problem of decision making. So how Warasul can reach a decision? He can reach a decision applying a particular rule. What is the name of the rule? The name of the rule is called association rule. Although this is a very small example, but consider Amazon, right? Com com consider Amazon a very big company. Or Eveli, do you know Eveli? Eveli is the e-commerce in Bangladesh. Now Eveli is going to launch launch one product. Now the, the institution is thinking what other products they can supply with that with a particular product, right? So that the customer can avail a lot of products. That means necessity based on the necessity of the customer. Okay, the institution can like select the products based on the association rules. And in a Bangladesh, this is a very big country, a lot of customers in e Valley. how can they take the decision? They can just have the database of the customers, right? Then they can take the decision of providing the interesting or interested products to the customer based on the association rule. So this is also a descriptive data mining modeling, I guess. And in my upcoming lecture, I think it will be very clear what is descriptive data mining modeling and what is predictive data mining modeling. So in the part three, you can take a look three words or three topics. Number one is web mining. Number two is spatial mining, right? Number three is temporal mining. So what is web mining? If you want to mine something from the web pages, right? or some the web or for the web portal website right this is called the web mining consider one example suppose twitter do you know the twitter yes sir suppose president trump the former president of united states of america us right he was a good guy or bad guy we don't know but we had an opinion like a lot of people around the world made many comments in the twitter right and Mr. Trump, suppose, is a data miner now. He wants to know what, what was the bad comment or what was the most influential comment for because he was defeated from the US election, right? So what kind of comments made Mr. Trump in trouble, right? So this is called the text mining. So how the text, a lot of texts, texts, in the Twitter maybe or in the social media. So what the data miner can do, the data miner can mine a particular text, which one is most influential, right? So how he can proceed? He can take help the web mining tools or the web mining data mining tools to extract the hidden or insightful or potentially useful information from a large database. And the large database is here is the website or web page or web database. And this is nothing but the web mining. Anyway, you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So the next two topics is spatial mining and temporal mining. This sometimes these two words are used interchangeably. Spatio temporal. Spatio temporal. Sometimes it's called separately, spatial mining and temporal mining. So spatial means it comes from the word maybe space, space or location or location. And temporal, what do you mean by temporal? Do you have an idea? Temporal mining? What? So temporary mining. 
temple no not like that not like that it's not like that okay temporal comes from the time time so time and space is called spatio temporal spatial means space or location specific location and temporal means like the time so suppose we are gonna collect the temperature data temperature data we also collected the data from location suppose we are uh, going to model a problem spatio temporal modeling of dengue incidence in bangladesh spatio temporal modeling of dengue do you know the disease dengue yes sir this is an infectious yes, disease so spatio temporal modeling of dengue incidence in bangladesh then what is could you please tell me anybody what kind of example you can set here uh, for the special purpose and the temporal purpose for this particular topic spatio temporal modeling of dengue incidence in bangladesh tell me anybody what is the what could be the potential example for special mining here and what could be the potential example for temporal mining here i already told you spatial is nothing but the space or location temporal is nothing but the time based on the time now tell me if you don't understand just tell me sir we don't know the topic is spatial city exactly so you can collect the location of the hot spot of dengue incident that right? normally the dengue occurs a lot so dhaka city is a is is one kind of location rangpur dinaspur right kurigram many many location so this can be the special mining okay and what is the temporal mining here suppose you are going to collect what factors might affect the dengue incidence in bangladesh do you know what factors might affect the dengue incidence do you know do you have any idea in environment exactly environmental problem so maybe urbanization right or the main problem is that seasonal variation seasonal variation that means in the rainy season the dengue incidence is going to be very peak right but in the normal season maybe the dengue incidence is not that much like the rainy season so if you want to collect data on the climate variables right climate variables mean temperature rainfall it can be temperature it can be rainfall it could be precipitation right so these are the variables uh, if you want to mine these variables these are the temporal mining so the spatio temporal modeling of dengue incidence in bangladesh could be the examples could be the location or the gps geographical location right or temporal means the season wise uh climate variables this could be the examples or application of spatial mining and temporal mining so using these variables you can identify why dengue is occurring a lot uh, in bangladesh including the other like the other southeast asian countries right so this kind of modeling could be the interest uh, could be your research interest as well so you understand these topics in the first part we will try to discuss the introduction of data mining and its related concepts some uh, data mining techniques and tools in the part 2 we are going to discuss classification clustering association rule right okay something some some are classified into predictive and some are classified into descriptive parts of data mining in the num final part we are going to discuss discuss about web mining special mining and temporal mining so this is mainly the outline of this course data mining you understand do you have any query or question dear students understand sir no question no sir okay if there is no question i can proceed to the next slide and i will very i will go very quickly so next slide is the overview so is overview means the description of the previous slide nothing else the meaning of data mining knowledge discovery Uh, you already know about the knowledge discovered that means to discover the knowledge or hidden pattern from the data basics data mining task classification regression time series analysis prediction clustering summarization association rules sequence discovery right like the gene sequence suppose you are doing the bioinformatic analysis so you have a lot of data regarding the uh, genetic sequence of a particular drug maybe or particular animal so you can using the sequence discovery to 
select the specific sequence of the uh, DNA or RNA or something. Development of data mining, how de data mining was developed, data mining issues and mining matrices, social implication of data mining. So these are the overview or topics in this slide. So uh, some mathematical things are as well in fuzzy sets and fuzzy relation. So these are the theoretical things. Maybe we can take a look and these things could be helpful for a very good understanding in data mining application, right? So you can take a look and uh, maybe we are going to discuss it later on. So the next slide is database system, right? So as far as I remember, I created or I tried to make you learn to create a database using Microsoft Excel in your first year, second semester, right? Yes, sir. So you already know how to create the uh, database using Microsoft Excel. In the database, I think you also made a query. You remember the uh, qu uh, query? Database access, sir. Yes. Do you remember you made some job there or you did you perform some, some job over there? How to extract the hidden information? As far as I remember, I tried to, I tell, told you to create a database, including many information, student ID, student name, right? Your height, your weight, your hall of residence, your blood group, right? Blood group. So suppose the Badon is operating in Begum Rook University. So Badon, we are your unit, is uh, trying to know the hidden information. Hidden information means they try to collect the O positive blood. Is there any blood named O positive? Yes, sir. Okay. So suppose you want to find the O positive blood donor in Begum Rook University. How can you do that? Do you, will you do it manually? You can do it manually. So it will take a lot of time and the information is going to be lost definitely. So what you can do, you can create a database of all the students, right? Of Begum Rook University. And you can also update the database as the year goes on. Then you can extract, you can find out, you can query the insightful, useful information. That means all positive blood from the whole database. So the job is going to be very easy for you. How the job was easy? just using a database. So this is also a typical example of data mining, right? So in the database mechanism, a lot of things will be worked like the machine learning algorithms, pattern matching, right? So logic, a lot of logics will be worked there, information retrieval and decision support system, dimensional modeling, multi-dimensional schemes, indexing, data warehousing. So a lot of things. So a we'll, lot of mechanism you have to use as a database manager or the database creator. Right, so you should have a good knowledge on database management system. Hopefully, we are going to conduct a lecture also on this topic, database management system. Clear? Clear, sir. Next one, data mining techniques. So what are the data mining techniques? So statistical perspective on data mining techniques, like the point estimation, model based on summarization based theorem, hypothesis testing, regression and correlation, similarity measure. Have you, have you ever heard this topic, similarity measure? No, sir. Okay. Similarity measure, it could be distance measure. It could be dissimilarity measure. Dissimilarity? Measure. Anyway, we can talk it later. Then the decision tree, genetic algorithm. Mostly the data mining applications are here are the machine learning algorithms. So neural network is also a machine learning algorithm. So background, basic neural network models, perception, multi-layer perception. Okay, a lot of things are here. All the things related to the mechanism, like the how to build the model is better if we can do it practically, right? then I think it's gonna be easy for us. So this slide shows you the data mining techniques and particularly maybe the neural network. So we are gonna discuss those topics later on. So the classification, as I already told you, the classification in this topic, we are gonna learn there are many issues in classification. 
statistical based algorithms, right? Regression, Bayesian classification, distance, distance based classification, right? A lot of uh, KNN, that means K nearest neighbor algorithms. A so lot of algorithms and programs or methods or techniques we are going to learn in the topic of classification. And mostly they are machine learning uh, classification techniques, right? So I'm not going to tell you details right now. So next one is clustering. In the clustering, the similarity and distance measure we can use, outlier, hierarchical, and many other things uh, are here as well. So I'm not going to discuss in detail right now. So you can take a look at the topics, the contents, right? We can learn from this topic, clustering. Then the association rule. So in the association rule, definitely we have to learn some, some of the basic things or maybe it would be good for us if we can do these problems practically, right? So the practical implication or the practical job is really important to learn or to understand data mining problems very clearly. Then web mining, in the web mining, these are the things maybe we can try to learn, web mining, okay? Then, so, so, at the end of the course, or maybe in the middle of the course, I will give you some of the projects. The so project means this is a part of your assignment. So the number one project might be diabetes prediction with Python programming. Number two is the heart disease prediction with Python programming. Number three might be credit card fraud detection using Python programming. Then <clears throat> number four project is house price prediction with Python programming. Number five is fake news prediction with Python programming. So if you take a careful look, all the projects are related either in clustering or association or what was the another one? Tell me. It's in Python. No, I told you all these projects are related with the main core three topics of data mining, either association rule, either classification rule, or either clustering problem. So I try to uh, like conduct some projects, and this is, is a part. Association? Yes, association, mm -hmm. then clustering, clustering. then yeah. classification, then classification. So these projects will help you Okay, to understand the machine learning mechanism or data mining mechanism in a very good way. So I'll give you the data. You have to learn Python programming, okay? Then using the Python programming, you can uh, have a solution with the particular projects are here. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so a lot of, lot of job and a lot of things you have to learn here, okay? So the next, what is the best data mining software? You can take a look, there are many softwares are here. How many software you can know, uh, like already? Could you please tell me how many software? Yeah. There are many softwares yeah. are here. Okay, you know SPSS, is number one. Number two? R. Number two, R. R. Okay, number three? Yes. Four mini is, dev. Know? Okay, good. Number four is mini dev, then? Maple. Maple, you really, you, you know Maple? Why, why, why you told me that? Okay, don't use, even don't tell if you don't know anything. I mean the certificate. Don't show anything in your certificate which you don't really know. Otherwise, in the interview board, please mute your microphone. Otherwise, in the interview board, right? The interviewer can ask you many questions, suppose regarding the maple, then you, you don't know anything about the maple. So it will create a bad impression. Then ultimately you, will, you are not gonna get the job. Anyway, what are the other software? You don't know, right? Okay. Anyway, so I recommend the best software for data mining is Wika. Can you find the Wika? You see the Wika or W-E-K-A. I don't know the exact pronunciation of this one. Wika, or I'm not sure, okay? So this is a very good software. And Orange, Orange is also a very good software. And 
most importantly r and python where is the python i cannot find the python here can you find the python under the two under words the, under the tools tools words sir it is right beside Data the tools spark mining tools spark right okay. anyway right okay, side of the spark here yes, right sir. yes here. sir so python r and orange and wicca so most probably i will try to make you learn about the python r and orange okay so these three software maybe you can learn from this course r python and orange okay so you can start learning from the youtube maybe so it will give you a good knowledge earlier okay so anyway <clears throat> so what jobs can i get with data mining do you have any idea i think you already know that data scientist if you want to be a data scientist then you should have a good knowledge on data mining software right and you should have a good hands on data mining algorithm so this is a it's a very good job like lot of jobs are offering as a data miner right or a data scientist or machine learning practitioner so you should have some good skill in data management right and also you should have a very sound programming knowledge so that you can have a very good job with data mining okay so reasons why statistics make great data scientists and why no one tells them somebody told you already you could be data scientist or you can be data scientist or this is the new thing i am talking about hmm reasons why statistics make you great data scientist i told you you already heard it somebody told you already or not so you told us um, first year oh, okay then no need to repeat it again right here so anyway i'm i'm going to repeat it so if you want to be a good data scientist so data scientist is the sexiest job of 21st century right but you could get the job but you should have a very good knowledge in mathematics and statistics especially in machine learning statistical modeling right domain knowledge and soft skill you should have some soft skill as well you must have some programming and database related knowledge right and communication and visualization is also very important so uh, throughout this course i guess or i think if you can work hard right if you try your best then maybe it will help you to become a data scientist right so everything depends on you so try to dream big okay try to be a data scientist uh, learning this course especially so uh, what is the prerequisite of this course the pre prerequisite of this course is like just you should have some interest okay interest of what interest of learning data mining okay i think then you can you could be a data scientist let's see what happens then so <clears throat> the thing is what kind of books you can read so i recommend this is the best book and the uh, i got this book from my american supervisor so he took the book for me from america to thailand when i was in thailand he came came here to meet me and he handed over the book and the book was gifted by my supervisor so i already have the book and i think you can download it from the internet so maybe the fourth edition is the latest edition you can follow this book and an introduction to statistical learning so it's also very very it's very it's, very, it's, it's a very good book regarding the machine learning data science deep learning and data mining as well so a lot of programming is there you can learn and you can learn a lot of things if you can study this book uh, like in a very good way and the another elements of statistical learning data mining inference and prediction so this is also the important book and the last one is data mining the book the writer of the book is dunham so these are the four books i can recommend you to follow so you can also download these books from the website and i think this is freely available or freely downloadable from the internet so you can download it and never stop learning just start learning whatever you have just download these books and start learning so this could be a very good way to learn data mining or
or data science or machine learning algorithms. Okay, these are the books and some internet references. So don't forget to join our Facebook group. Uh, the name of the Facebook group is STAT4206. So I can rename the name STAT4204 maybe later on, the data mining. Then we have also a Facebook group. Uh, and I have also a YouTube channel. So if you want to really have the video for every class, right? First, you need to subscribe. So I will take a look, you subscribed or not, then I will upload the video. Otherwise, I am not gonna upload the video anymore. So these are the internet sources from mine. So maybe you will have a lot of resources there. I uploaded earlier and I will upload later also, later on also. So you can get these references from the internet from my perspective or from my side, okay? So uh, last but not at least, I'd like to thank you for, for your attention for today's class. And the class was about data mining and the contents of data mining, which we are gonna learn uh, in our future classes or future lectures. So what do you have to do? Try to have fun with your line, learning. So have fun with data mining and don't get frustrated, okay? Try hard and make your learning interesting. Otherwise, it's gonna be very difficult to learn. Everything is easy if you are crazy for learning, right? So try to be crazy to be an effective data miner, especially throughout this course, okay? Thank you very much, dear students. So if you have any questions, Regarding today's class, I would be very glad to give the answer, okay? Tell me. Okay, if you have no question, then I, I will, I will, I am gonna ask you a question, okay? Tell me the question. Yes, yeah, students. Uh, so no questions today, sir. No question, why? Why no question? Hmm? Uh, so maybe we have to study first to raise a question. Okay, good. So don't worry or don't get frustrated with a lot of topics. And this is my nature. I, I used to show you the contents first, right? So these contents, mostly the contents were taken from your syllabus, right? Mostly, and I also added some topics, additional topics. So what important things I am going to give importance is practicability, right? So most, so I think we should learn, we should learn Python and R, okay? And Orange, Orange is very easy, just I'm gonna give you one lecture or two lecture you can do the analysis by yourself. It's very easy, it's an interactive mode and you don't need to use a lot of programming over there. It's like ready, like SPSS, but you need to learn Python. I think you already knew about the R. R is also easy for you. And I am giving some lecture with your first year students regarding R and I'm gonna upload the video very soon. So the, the lesson is gonna be related with the very basic, starting from the data read, data input, so you can take a look in my YouTube video. Maybe it might be useful for you, okay? But the new thing is Python. We have to learn Python for this course, right? So yeah, try hard, okay? Don't get frustrated. And I think it's gonna be interested if we can find it in the practical perspective. So everything should be practical, right? So a lot of data I'm gonna give you, okay? A lot of programming you have to do, right? and a lot of results you are gonna get, okay? <laughs> so a lot of results, a lot of programming, right? And a lot of problems, okay? This is the life. Learning is the, should be your best partner, okay? Learning should be your best partner, uh, irrespective of the gender. Learning has no gender. It's, it's, I recommend you to stay with learning, <laughs> not to stay with other things, okay? So really you don't have any question right now? No, sir. No, sir. Oh, really? So if there is no question, what I can do? Is, is, is the time to say goodbye, right?
No, so attendance. So attendance, you can give the attendance based on the criteria I already told you, right? Yes, sir. Uh, then you can create a Google sheet and you can discuss with me later, okay? How to create the Google sheet and you can do it there. So how many students are 56? I'm not sure about the attentive or yes, not attentive students. You, This is your uh, duty, right? Student, you don't attend, sir. No problem. We had the video, so you can take the take a look of the video and you can trace the student. So this is also the task of data mining, right? Yes. So if you have no question, right? So I think we can finish today's class, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. So we can meet online or offline later on, okay? I'm not sure the next class is going to be online. Maybe hopefully online, okay? And sometimes the class will be is gonna be online definitely. I think the advantage you will have is that you will have the recording. So you can watch it later, right? So this is a lifelong recording, like the, until or unless the YouTube is not gonna be banished or finished, right? Then you can watch anytime and you can have the lecture. So uh, till then stay safe, okay? And keep learning, don't stop learning. Python and data mining related problems. Okay. So thank you very much. Okay. I, I, I wish you good luck.